What's up my infected friends, this is KG48 and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival and we are going to be doing some building today. Uh, I wasn't planning on building walls until my entire base on the inside was complete, um, but the problem is I gotta build this wall first because what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be building the farm and possibly a chicken coop if we get to it. Um, I don't think we're gonna get to it though because we do need to build the wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this wall right here and then we are going to bring it right over here and connect it up right here, all right? After that, we are going to make the farm inside here and put the chicken coop somewhere possibly. All right, <clears throat> and that's my plans for today. Now, there's a couple different ways you can farm in this game, and some are worthwhile and some are not. And to be perfectly honest, I'm debating whether I want to use the crop furrows, because um, when I last used these things, they weren't working. They were just complete, you know, and utter garbage, broken as hell. Um, they kind of worked, but not really. And you have to, like, water them for, like, hours um, to get them to grow anything. Now, that was, there's been a few updates since then. I haven't seen anything about these things being fixed, but I think I'll put them down anyway, just to test them. But the real way to um, do farming is this thing right here, the garden box. That's what I really want. In order to do that, we're going to have to get soil sacks. I don't remember how to get soil sacks, but I think it has something to do with the shovel. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to craft myself a shovel. There we go. All right, 30 minutes. Sounds good to me. We're gonna have to go to bed pretty soon, but um, I do have a shovel now So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the shovel here and I'm going to quickly see if I remember how to do this I think you just look down at the dirt and then left click um, soil sack required Okay, so I don't remember how to do this. Let me figure it out All right guys here I am waking up in the morning and I'm not gonna lie It's kind of creepy sleeping right next to Scott staring at a wall Scott. What is your deal, bro? Nothing great. What's up Scott? Get out of my freaking bedroom. Do you need a hand? Uh, yeah, I need you to leave my bedroom, please. It's kind of weird. All right, anyway, um, yeah, so I remember how to, basically all you have to do is you have to make the, um, what are they called? You have to make the uh, soil sacks, obviously. So we're gonna need us some rags and some sewing kits, and I believe I have a good amount of them somewhere. All right, we got some rags right here. And none in there, and none in there. Okay, I got some more in here somewhere, I believe. All right, there's some more rags. I think you only need one of these soil sacks, if I remember correctly, because uh, you could just keep filling them up or something. I, I don't really remember how it works, but let me see sewing kits. I don't think I have a ton of sewing kits, so I'm going to be a little. I'm only going to make one for now. I remember making a few of these last season, and then I found out you only needed one, so it was kind of a waste of time. But I don't know. I think you could fill that one sack up to like 50 or whatever. So let's see how let's see how that works. There we go. So you see, we're just digging up dirt. And putting it in the sack. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the sack down here. So, uh, are we? You can't put it in your hot bar, can you? It sucks. Because I wanted to be. I wanted to be able to see it filling up as I was digging. All right. Well, there you go. And it looks like you get a random amount. One point four is the highest I've seen so far, and the lowest I've seen is one. <clears throat> uh, soil sack required. Okay. So, oh, ten. Okay. So that might be a problem. I could have swore I didn't need that many. Um, 50 kilograms. So maybe I do need five of these. No, no, that, no, you don't. You absolutely do not. That's right. Okay, I remember how I did it now. So what you could do is, um, it's obvious, but, you know, not obvious to me uh, until I think about it. Um, what you could do is you could put down the ghost image, and then you can put 10 in, go dig out 10 more, put 10, dig out 10 more, 10, dig out 10 more, 10, dig out 10 more. 10, dig out 10 more. It sounds like a song, right? I think I just wrote a song by accident. Alright, well, it is what it is. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this. Uh, what am, oh, oh, I actually have what I need. I just need another hammer. Now, I would repair. I would have repaired my hammer, but I can't repair my hammer because I don't have any goddamn duct tape. I think I have, like, two duct tape, and that's not enough to repair it. That's not a repair enough to repair anything. So, that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? I mean, if you're gonna put like those strict requirements on duct tape for repairing, you gotta put duct tape out in the world to loot. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess I could farm infected, but the duct tape, uh, the the amount of duct tape to the infected drop is like not a lot. It's it's pretty uh it's pretty bad. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to make some more walls going over there. Um, so we'll do no ladder. I'll probably just put a ladder here. And a ladder here, and then have a ladder nowhere else. Should I put a door over here? Now, nah. I'm only gonna have one door in this place, and it's gonna be out here somewhere. Yeah, we don't need a door here. 
All right, what we do need, though, is to line this up on an angle. These walls are kind of funny because the, the, the way we have those, like, you know, poles that are in the front, like, to um, give it structural integrity, uh, it's kind of weird because if you put them, like, you know, perfectly lined up and you get to the end, then you have to put, if you have to put them on a 45-degree angle, it gets really bad. So what you want to do is with, with these walls is you kind of want to, like, make the angles, like, angle them a little bit and then a little bit more. And then a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and then have them line up. You don't want to do a hard uh, 45 degree uh, angle. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work as well. I mean, it'll work, but not quite as well. So is that enough of an angle? Yeah, that should be enough of an angle. And we will put that right there. All right, let's build this sucker up. Yeah, that's much better. Like that, that slight curve is much better than the, than the 45 degree angle with these things. Faux show. Scott has been hard at work cutting down trees. So let me come out here and gather some logs, gather some more wood, and then we're going to get this wall built. All right, guys, I think it's about time to get Scott out to cut down some more trees. I'm also going to get these freaking metal, low-quality metal ingots out of my inventory because they're in there for no reason, just taking up space, meaning I can't pick up as many logs as I would like. <clears throat> and let's go find Scott, get him out of my freaking bedroom. And uh, get him to doing something useful instead of freaking spying on me all night like a weirdo. All right, uh, assign work, cut down trees for three hours. Don't pick up anything. Um, don't leave the stumps. Okay, so he's got a problem. All right, so if you have this kind of issue, what you want to do is just move him to a different like you know base. Make this your active home, and Scott should be around here. So there he is. All right, Scott. Sign work, bro. Cut down trees. I don't think it matters which which one is my home, so I'm just I'll switch them back uh, later off camera. But I don't think it needs to be done right this minute. All right, so that wall is now complete. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how I'm gonna build the farm. I just know that I kind of need the walls first. Uh, so I, I, you know, so because you know I need to know where the farm's gonna go, and the walls gotta go up first. All right, so this one can go at a little bit more of an angle. That looks pretty good to me. There we go. Oh, so putting it on an angle does leave me with less room here. All right, so that's a bit of a problem. If I was if I had the walls come out and me on a 45 degree angle, I would have more room. But honestly, it's going to be enough room. Uh, I'll make it work. I'll make it work because you can kind of build underneath the walls too, like under the walkways, which is pretty cool. And in case you want to know how to skip the mist, uh, put yourself where you're safe. Sleep for three hours. It used to be two hours. Now, I think it's three. I started doing three. Um, it didn't seem like two hours was enough. And while I'm over here, I will also go into the caged bear bar and grill. Oh, good. It also got her unstuck. You know what? That one seems to be a problem because that get her, gets her stuck. But if this one's the main base, she seems to be okay. So maybe I'll leave this as my main base. I don't think there's any real reason not to have it as my main base. So, all right. That's good. We want as much room in our inventory as possible. So let's go ahead and start building this one. We're going to need some more nails, of course. We're going to need some more wood. We're going to need a lot of everything. And that is just fine. And it's just fine. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Two more walls? Uh, this is going to be... The walls don't always line up the way you want them to. So, it's going to be a bit of an issue, but that's okay. We will make it work one way or another. Out of the way, Scott. Alright, so that would be, like, right here. That's where we want that to be. So, I'm thinking, like, right, like... Gotta line that up. That's got to be lined up with that. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Cool. Yeah, this will be enough room for what we need to be. Oh, look at her, man. She's just chilling. Man, that girl's got style. She knows how... She... Man, she knows how to lean up against stuff and sit in chairs. I'll tell you that right now. Like, nobody's business. All right, guys. I got the wall completed. Um, came out pretty good. It was a little tough at the end. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Uh, but it is working. It, it's working! And you see what happens if you put it on a proper angle? You can, like, walk around it easy. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, now the one part that didn't come out quite perfect, but it's pretty good, um, is right here. This, like, this last piece was almost, was almost good enough to come across here, but there was just a little bit showing, and I, I so I had to put down two inside of each other. And this part right here, I wish I could have done a little bit better, but it's, it's alright. It'll be fine. Uh, it looks good from the inside, and that's what I really wanted more than anything. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, this right here is gonna be the farm area, 
and then I want to leave a walkway going through here. Now, originally, I was going to have the farm area right here, but I don't want the farm in the way of trying to get to the ladder. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, if I could have done it again, I would have started from this side and put the ladder here, but it's okay. It'll be pretty interesting. I mean, it's more interesting when you're building where things don't go as planned. You have to adjust. I think that's where the best builds are made. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so we're going to line this up as good as we can, and then we're going to start here. Should I I'm going to leave a walkway. Yeah. And then we're going to put that right there. And then once you put down the first one, the other ones will line up. They kind of snap into place. And I think we're just... Again, these, these things aren't really... Or at least they weren't good last time I used them. So I'm not going to put a ton of these down. Um, but I, I will put a couple down just to... You know, just to make it look like we have a farm. And who knows? Maybe they're better now. Uh, I'm going to leave some space in between them as well. And we will put one more down. Okay. So if you do that, it snaps into place and then it really lines them up properly. Uh, that looks pretty good. And then a couple more. One right there. I really wish I didn't have to come into this every time. Um, it should just stay there. Or like maybe you pull down a button and then the ghost image doesn't go away. I don't know. Something. So I'm thinking three and three. And that'll be like a, the beginning of a nice little farm here. Okay, and in order to make these, uh, I guess you don't need anything. Yeah, you don't need anything. You don't even use the dirt. You just kind of dig it up. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to use the dirt. You're not putting down mounds of dirt. You're just kind of digging up the earth. So, that's what we're going to do. Now, I wish I had some uh, some tomatoes. Um, all I have is corn, and I like tomatoes better. I don't remember why I like tomatoes better. I just know I did. Um, but I don't know. Corn will be okay, I guess. I don't think you could plant corn in the... Um, in the big thing. Is that what it was? Could I not could I not plant corn? There was something I couldn't plant corn in, but I don't remember. All right, so now we're going to take the corn seeds and we're going to plant one in here just because two there we go and plant. There we go. And then you have to water it. We'll get into that in a minute. Um but before we do that, let's come on over here and let's plant these things. Now these things are the ones that's really going to really going to be awesome. All right, so I don't know where I want to put these. You know what? I think we should probably uh, put down at least the ghost image of the chicken coop before we do anything else. So we know where that goes because it's obviously the biggest thing here. Um, and I don't quite know where... I, I could put it right here, I guess. Um, the thing is, you don't want the chicken, like, getting to your crops. It doesn't matter in real life, but... Uh, it doesn't matter in the game, but in real life, I don't think you'd want a chicken near your crops when they, like, eat your crops and stuff. I don't know. Maybe. All right, so... Put me the gun. Uh, this looks pretty decent. I can't really tell if it's lined up properly, but I kind of like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, yeah, it looks kind of lined up. And then we're just going to kind of put this right there. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so now we need a place to put the other thingy -ma -bobs, Um, this thing. Honestly, one garden box would be enough. But I kind of want to put down a few, but I don't know. Um, I don't want them inside of bushes either because th the bushes will stay there and it's really annoying. Um, I don't really know where I want to put these. I guess I could put them in here. The problem is the angle is going to be wrong and then I won't be able to expand this farm part. Do I, do I really care about that though? I don't think I do. All right. I think I have something that'll work. Um, I'm not sure if they're lined up. They don't look lined up, but I think they are. Uh, the problem is when you go to put down these things, uh, I try not to put them in the grass. Um, now, I probably could use this, the garden table, because that's not in the grass. Maybe we should try that. The thing is, the garden table, I think, is the one that can't hold corn. And I think the garden box can hold everything. Um, man, the garden table would be really nice, though, if it did work. Because, um, like I said, anytime you put this... Uh, these really ultimate, you know, garden boxes. You see how the, the grass comes through it? That's never going to stop. <laughs> so I could put one right here. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Put one right here. Now these are going to have some grass going through them, but I don't have any way to deal with that without turning off the grass. And turning off the grass makes the entire game look like kind of garbage. So I'm thinking put this one right about, uh, right about there. That'll work. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to save and build those up and see, you know, if they're where I want them to be. Um, like I said, some of them are going to have grass coming through. There's just... Uh, isn't, uh, yeah, I don't want to turn the grass in the game off, so... 
Scott, get out of here. Go cut, go cut down some trees, bro. Why don't you go cut down some trees, my man? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the shovel. Because um, this bag I have in my inventory should be empty. And it is. So what we do is we just dig up the soil. And then we can put it in the... Oh, it's not putting it in. Why isn't it putting it in? Four. Uh, start building. Um, well, that's the last thing that needs to go in. It's kind of weird that I can't build it. It's because I have a shovel in my hand. Huh. That's weird. Why isn't it not putting the dirt in there? I have no tools required. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Alright, whatever. I'm going to dig up some more dirt and think about what's going on here. Maybe you need a certain amount of dirt. Yeah, that's probably what it is. You need a certain amount of dirt. So let's get 10 and see if that works. Yep. Yep, you need 10. Okay, fair enough. So the bag only holds 10, and you need 10 to actually make one of these things. All right, I went ahead and built all of those um, farm thingy-mabobs, those um, garden boxes. And, and then I was looking around. I think I have some better solutions. Now... The best solution is, and I didn't realize you could do this, but you can build them up here. That would be freaking phenomenal. But I've already got all these chairs and tables here, and I kind of like the idea of having like a little dining area here for lots of people. You know, so I'm just going to stick with this, but next time, next season, when I build the, um, you know, whatever bar and grill, I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the, the planter stuff up here. Um, one thing I could do though, and I could do it for decoration and to see how good they work is put the garden tables up here just, you know, for some decoration or something. All right. The other idea I had was, I think I'm going to break this out and just put the farm thing, the farm plots there. Um, I was going to break this out anyway. This was never meant to be permanent. And the only reason I even had these things here was because I needed, um, it's so cool that you get all the stuff back, was I needed uh, some way to be able to cook during the night. Uh, not only did I not need to cook during the night now anymore, but there's not even anything out here to cook. So this whole, this whole extra thing here is, is just kind of pointless. So we are going to break it out. It's just getting in the way. And I never intended for it to be permanent. It was, you know, it was going to get broken out eventually anyway. And, um, you know, because you get 100% back, it was an easy choice, you know? Just put it down, and if you don't like it, break it out. It's awesome. I love it. I love that you get 100% stuff back from the, um, uh, from the fences. Okay, so, as you can see right here, this will look a million times better. Okay? So, you see that right there? I mean, like right there, right? And then what I, and it's still part of the farm. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna put one right there, though. I think right there, so maybe two will probably be okay. And also, do I want to move the furrows over here? Um, the furrows are okay right here, but they're in the grass. That's kind of annoying. Um, but they're going to be in the grass here anyway. Uh, so I think I will probably... I, I could put the furrows down first. And then put the uh, garden things down. Um, no, nah, I'm going to leave the furrows where they are. I'm going to leave the furrows where they are. They're not, they're not too bad over here with the grass, I guess. But that's all right. Hey, you, get out of the way. Um, actually, how do I get her out of the way? Uh, alright. Oh, boy. How am I gonna get her out of the way? Yeah, move. Move, woman! Damn. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put at least two of these down. Probably stop at two, though. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just, uh, this is a really good spot for this. I just kinda wanna line it up as perfectly as possible. That looks pretty good. And not inside the wall, please. There we go. Honestly, one of these is enough. I'm just putting down two for the lulls, but really, one is plenty. Let's just go ahead and finish that first one, and then uh, we'll see what. And then, because when the first one's finished, then you could really tell where the side is to make sure the sides are lined up properly. All right, cool. Oh boy, <laughs> let's do it. All right, guys. Now I'm going to do something that's 100% not necessary, and I'm 100% on board with doing it. <clears throat> what I want to do is, I want to make a fence over here to fence off the farm. I I like the idea of my of my bases being categorized as far as like what's what, right? Like I'm going to build a fence around this and then I'm going to name it, right? It's going to be whatever it's going to be. The 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 the, the smeltery what, whatever we end up calling it. And that's one, you know, category of my base, all right? Right here is the food area. Oh, look at that. Oh, I kind of want to get that stuff. How am I going to get that one? Hey, you. First of all, get off my farm. Oh, I should have realized that, that she'd be... Get out of here. God, you suck. You're so annoying. 
I freaking have you live here. You're standing on my farm. I can't stand you. Um, well, that, that's another reason to fence it off. Keep these dumbasses out of my freaking farm area. I also like my farm area being connected, uh, or at least being close uh, to the food house. I kind of like that, or the, the cage, the caged uh, bear barn grill. But I, I do understand that this is a complete waste of resources and not really needed in any way, shape, or form. And again, uh, I'm okay with that. All right, so we're going to start with it over here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, that was a funny accent. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that. And then we're going to grab this bad boy, and we are going to connect it there. And then just... Um, do you want this to be a 45-degree angle, or... Mm, maybe. Yeah, that's okay. It's good right there. Come on. Come on, damn you. Come on. It's never it's never right, right? There you go. It's good enough. Oh, that's going to stay up in the air, isn't it? I think it is. That's right. I remember this being a problem. Yep, that's going to stay up in the air. All right. Well, can't start it there. Well, we can. All right. What we can do now is we can come over here and we can put one right here. But I don't want it connected, but I don't know how to not connect it. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to remember where it goes. Well, let's see if we can remember where it goes. I can always start from the other side. But I'd rather start from this side for very specific reasons. Alright, so connect right there to line it up. And then just kind of pull it off. And... Uh, boy, this is just going to be tough, huh? Alright, it is what it is. Alright, let's see how that one goes. Are we going to get it on the first try? Nope. A little too far away. It looks like it's lined up right. It's just a little too far away. All right, so I did the same exact technique off camera and just got it perfect. It only took me a few more tries. Um, it wasn't that hard. All right, so now we want to start angling this thing. Uh, or do we wait one more time? Nah, let's wait one more. Let's wait one more before we start angling. So I'm going to get rid of it and bring it back. That way it should be exactly straight. There we go. And now we will angle it. And we just need to kind of line it up with that the set of stairs. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, and then we go like that. And we need to line this up with the stairs. Okay, that looks... Um, Alright, that looks okay. And then one more. And that looks pretty good to me. And don't worry, I will put a uh, door in. Just, you know... I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Alright. Okay. Nice. Very nice. You used to be able to stack these things too. I don't think you can anymore. Or at least not easily. Yeah, see? You can kind of stack them, but th the stacking is not something I'm going to be willing to deal with. Um, <laughs> it was really a nightmare. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one out and put in the door. And that's a perfect spot for the door. And then we will have the uh, farm, you know, walled off. Um, again, not really needed, although it would be nice to keep those dumbasses from walking into my farm and, you know, trampling all over my stuff. Stupid freaking survivors. Stupid survivors. All right, let's go ahead and save, just in case this doesn't work out. And we should have everything we need to build this, so let's build it. Okay, I just, all I gotta do is these two spots, and I gotta make sure the door's lined up okay. And then I can do the rest later. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Awesome. Very cool. Time to go to sleep. Alright guys, so let me show you how we're gonna water the crops, okay? So you're gonna come over here to your workbench, and you're going to look under the tools thing, and you're gonna look for the watering can. Alright, I already hit, went ahead and made one. So let's come over here, and I think you could water it with dirty water. So if you can... I would uh, suggest using um, dirty water, although I've got more clean water than dirty water. All right, so we're going to take this thing, and now this is where the crop furrow thingies uh, seem to be broken or were broken. I'm not sure if they are anymore, um, but these always worked out okay. So we're going to go ahead and plant... Um, oh, you see, you can't plant corn in here. Okay. All right, so if you can't plant corn in these... All right, I'm going to stick with this build because I've already done, I've already done it, but... If you can't plant corn in those, then that means you got to plant uh, tomatoes. I think it's only tomatoes. And I think the garden table works. You can plant... I think you can plant the same exact thing in the garden box and the garden table. So if you have a bunch of grass 
and you want to like not deal with the grass coming through your garden box, I think you can just make garden tables. Now, he might have changed things. I'm not really sure, but the, the last time I messed with him, that was the case. Um, oh, boy. We're going to have to fight bandits to get um uh, to get tomatoes. That's a bit of a bummer. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put them in here. Who knows? Maybe these were fixed. They weren't fixed last time I played. I'll tell you that right now. Um, do I still have it? No, I don't have it. There we go. All right, so I will tell you right now if they're fixed. What you're going to do is you're just going to water these and watch the color um, of the dirt. It's going to change color. All right, still looks the same to me. Oh, it looks like it's changing color. All right, so that definitely changed color. Is that enough? Is that fully watered? I don't know. We won't know until we uh, wait for the crops to, to grow. It just takes too much water, right? Like, that's like a whole thing of water. I only did one crop. Maybe I put too much on there? I don't know. Well, let's go get some more water. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to uh, take a drive. Uh, with the, oh man, these water. Oh, these water barrels are gonna be a pain in the ass to bring, get in and out of here. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Maybe I will break down this um, moonshine still and build it over here, and I'll put the water barrels at the edge so they'll be easier to get in and out of the uh, in and out of this place. This one right here will never move. This one's the only one that's gonna move. So what I'll do is I'll break this down, put it over here. Put this water barrel right here, and then put this water barrel right here. So this one will be real easy to get in and out. Um, okay. Well, I really want to water these things, but I, I don't think I want to use safe water. So uh, we watered one, and, you know, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. And uh, I'm going to have to make plans to go get some more, um, uh, kill some more bandits. Can you only get tomatoes at the main bandit camp? What bandit camps have I taken out in this Let's Play? Um, I definitely took out the small one. And... I took out the one that's on the way to the city. Did I take out... I think I've taken out all of them except for the big... I don't... Honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember. Damn it. That means I have to go farm some... Uh, I'm going to do that some other time. That means I got to go farm some uh, some ammo. Got to make some ammo. I don't think so, Scott. Yeah. D that's not for you, buddy. That's not for you. All right, guys, I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.